So you guys know what an endoscopic camera is? Well, normally that's a camera that is inserted up the rectum by a board certified physician to explore your colon health. They may even take a little biopsy, little piece down in there and test it out for later. Well, our good friends at Jinx Tech have provided you with an endoscopic camera that's compatible with your Android device, just in case you wanna pursue some aggressive home remedies or free a gerbil. <laughs> Don't Google that. Let's try this again. A company called Jinx Tech has produced an endoscopic camera that attaches to your Android device. Most people are familiar with such cameras, those devices that doctors use to look inside people. Now we're hoping no doctors use their smartphone to do this, but there is a surprising number of other uses for this little gizmo. It is waterproof and flexible, thank God! Meaning you can use it to do things like look inside your sink for a clog in the drain. Or if you're working on a vehicle, you can use the tiny little camera to get into tight spaces. Now Jinx Tech endoscopic Android camera is being sold for $49, but recently that price has dropped to $18.99, suggesting that there's been a buildup and backlog of products that needs to be drained. All right, moving on to more comfortable news. Let's talk about the S9, specifically the feature that almost all of you wanted. It's not looking good. The latest report from South Korea alleges that the upcoming Galaxy S9 will not feature an in-display fingerprint scanner. Instead, it'll be placed on the back of the device just like its predecessor. The biggest question that arose out of this year's design trend was the placement of the fingerprint reader. With all manufacturers moving towards elongated screens and bezel-less bodies, there simply isn't enough room for a fingerprint scanner on the front of the smartphone anymore. Most companies, including Samsung, have decided to move it to the back. Though Samsung's approach has frustrated many, while Apple has decided to go a different way altogether. So I'm thinking that that could potentially be a big thing. What do you think? I mean, I'm someone who normally likes to keep my devices facing upward while I'm working or at the dining room table, or wherever, so I can see notifications as they come up. But I want those notifications to be secure. So I got a you know, fingerprint sensor that open that up so not everyone can see my notifications. But if I'm using a device like the Pixel 2 that has the fingerprint reader on the back, I gotta get under it each time, I gotta dedicate the whole hand to do that. Maybe I'm being picky and nitpicky, I don't know, maybe I'm being lazy, but that's a lot of extra work compared to the new iPhone that has the facial recognition. Does that matter to you guys? Let me know in the comments below. And good news for all you augmented reality fans because AR is marching on. Augmented reality apps and games will be available on hundreds of millions of Android smartphones by the end of 2018. That's the word from the business and operations lead for Google's VR unit, Amat Singh, who talked up the search giant's AR ambitions at the recent Web Summit in Lisbon. And the Rolo won't just cover high-end flagship devices either, as Google appears to be aiming for a mass market crowd with techs often herald the next best thing, Augmented reality will become a core feature of most of Android over the next few years, Singh said, noting that mid and low tier handsets will be updated over the next two years. Now this AR ready utopia is all thanks to AR Core, Google's Android software development kit that lets developers introduce AR capabilities to almost any Android device without the need for additional sensors or hardware. According to Singh, the AR Core project is running as planned and his team is currently helping developers build the experiences so that AR can become a daily habit. Now, if you're a little bit older like me, you may remember Atari video games. In the early 80s, they were the bomb. We considered that cutting edge video game tech. I remember Space Invaders and Pac-Man and all that kind of stuff. Well, if you compare that to today, like recent Call of Duty game, for example, the comparison is laughable. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. I think that the current state of augmented reality is like where Atari was 35 years ago, right? We're taking some graphic and we're slapping it on the real world video image and that's augmented reality. I think it's just in its infancy and with the support that Google 
and uh, Apple are going to throw at this, we're going to see huge pushes in the next seven to 10 years. I mean, think of the possibilities. We can begin to really bridge the gap between the real world and the augmented world in ways that like, I mean, just think about real estate, right? Uh, you don't have to go to a house and see what it's like anymore because uh, you can just see almost a virtual creation of that house, right? And you want to change the, the curtains and the walls and the lights and the whole decorations. Well, you can do that. Now you can do that already, but with uh, an improved augmented reality, that can be a really immersive experience. And that's just for the real estate business. I mean, there are countless examples where augmented reality can really move the needle for a whole bunch of people, not just video games. Now, my audience is smart. So smart that sometimes you're inspired by a business idea. And then you try and get the name of that business in a domain name. And your next prospective customer is searching your business name and they assume you have the .com. And if you don't, you're giving your business away to the one who does. That's the power of a .com. Now, why is that exactly? Well, no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want to be credible? And don't forget, you get 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Hey guys, Jace here. So earlier today, just before I shot this, I did a, a live chat on Facebook. I'm going to try and do those on a, a semi-regular basis just to uh, show you behind the scenes, uh, ask questions. Uh, you ask me questions so we can get kind of a dialogue going. Uh, we had questions about uh, the new Pixel 2 that I'm using and the camera and the audio and stuff like that. And I really enjoyed that engagement. So follow me here on Twitter and like us on Facebook so you can get all that goodness. Talk to you soon.